five years ago, I would have said no to no-till, 100% no. And I got started up on another farm four years ago. That was a year after I said I wasn't gonna, and it was a 20 acre field and we just did the bottom half. I wanted to compare the top to the bottom. And the first year was, the top was better than the no-till. The second year they were even. This year, there's no comparison. The no-till is just so much better and that's where 100% no-till now and I can never see myself plowing again. You don't have to worry about stones. Weed control is better. You know, when you go in in the spring, you save half of the time because you're not plowing, you're not disking, smoothing it out. The fields are already smooth. You just go in and uh, spray and plant your crop and you're good to go. The biggest thing I've seen with no-till, the best way to do it is to go right on sod. You know, start right on sod and you're good to go. So I believe in the spring you can get on the fields a lot quicker being no-till. And I really want to see like next year, we just planted that winter rye this year and really see how that's going to evolve into the operation. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to be in a good way because of just the way it's looking and everything. And, and we got a seven acre field down below my house and that tested 46 ton an acre. <laughs> wow. Finished second in the state to a guy from Somerset County. Wow. Uh, that's the whole secret. Manure, with hopefully with organic matter in it, and cover crops. And get them in early and just, just watch them go. And every year I'm amazed. One thing that bothers me about no-till meetings is I remember when I was thinking about doing it. I would go to a no-till meeting and there would be established no-tillers there. And they would talk about all the different problems that can happen. I remember going to one early on and I hadn't even done it yet and there's there guys are saying what do you do about slugs what do you do about when you have a crop disaster and the weeds get ahead of you what do you do about getting things covered what 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 fertilizers do you use how do you lime do you, do you draw soil samples down two different depths there that's an example of all these questions that come up and it's like it was all right over my head and it made me when I walked out of that meeting I don't want nothing to do with no-till because it's too much, too much management and it overwhelmed me. But after thinking back, they're all things that can happen and are rare. Slugs was a big one too. And there's, there's a slogan that Nike uses in all their commercials years ago and it says, just do it. And I think about that every time when I come out and wonder whether I ought to be planting today or whether I'd be spraying, I just do it. And I have been, every year I think it's going to be, a, next year there's going to be a disaster. Something's going to happen or slugs are going to eat me up or something. And every year it just amazes me. Amazes me how easy and how inexpensive it is to grow great crops. And I do all of it with a 68 horsepower tractor. Yeah. I mean, we take that corn stubble you know, and put a cover crop in. The next spring I go through with a glyphosate and you just take that no-till drill and 15 pound alfalfa and six, seven, eight pounds of grass, and anybody can do it, just, just do it. And there you go, right there. I mean, I've never seen it so easy. We used to manure and chisel plow and disc and drag and pick rocks and roll for our seating ground. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's almost like cheating. <laughs>